In this video, we're going to focus on how to create a line and the label in the annotation plugin for Chart.js. All right, so this is basically the most important one that most people would like to use. So if we look here, right now we have this basic item here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do some adjustments on it because the line annotation have some extra options here. So let's start to look at certain things or let's first convert our item here into something more appropriate. So let's say I'll just call line line one for now. I guess it's more appropriate. And then we can say here the type needs to be readjusted to line. So the moment we do this, you will see we get something, but of course it is not really 100% what we want. So if you want to have a line from one side to the other side, we need to remove the radius, which is from our previous item. And here we can start to work with the minimum and maximum values here. So if we go here, let's go here x min and x max, and then same here with the y value. So what we're going to do here is just going to put in here, and let's say here we want to start somewhere. Well, we would like to start here from 20, and we we'll just make it straight all, all to the very end here. So I'll just say this is will be zero, then the x max should probably be not zero but the final one should be here so that will be number six or maybe number 6.5 we have to see that one then we have here the y min so if you want to have it on number 20 here this should be a value of 20 and then the max here there is none of course because we just keep it on this so let's see how that works and if we save this right now, we can just refresh. You can see here what's going on. All right, so it's going down here, and I guess maybe we need to re-put it here as well or ensure that this is also on the max or else it just goes down automatically to zero. So now we have this line here, and this looks decent, but you might say, well, I don't like this so much. Uh, how can we go here at the very beginning? This should be then, maybe, let's see if this is 0.5. No, all right, so we should do here minus 0.5 all right and then we have here at the very end here will be 6.5 all right so this is fine but you might say well this is kind of unpractical because you have to do a negative value here so luckily there's a solution for that we have a very simple solution first of all this we don't need but what we do need here now and this is the following what we need we need here what we call the scale id and here we're going to say we're going to just get the specific scale and then just draw this line straight away from beginning to end no matter what happens so where do we want to have the line in this case we want it on the y-axis right because this is the y-axis here and then we go from left to right if you do it on the x-axis it will go from top to bottom so that makes sense so we say here pinpoint the y-axis then we don't need this anymore and here we can indicate the value itself. So we say here, I'm going to, well, I'm just going to comment this out. That would probably be more practical. And then we say here a value, and this value will be number 20. And put here a comma, make sure you have a comma here as well. Save that and then refresh. You can see now it does exactly the same, except we don't have to calculate weird with all our numbers. The same would be if you do an X value here, but except then we need to get a specific value here. So remember, we want to have this one here, let's say 13, that will be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. All right, so that will be number 3 in the value. Then we save that and refresh. You can see here now we get the exact center here. For this, we do need to go to 0 if you want to go on the side here. So let's say here, of our, or we need to work with point values or floating values, as you can see here. And then we get this here. All right, so that's one of the options here. And that is just the lines. So the next thing what we could do, of course, is adding up a label. To add up a label, we need to go in this specific item here, and then we just say label. Then in the label here, we're going to break it down. What we're going to put in here is just this item here. If we scroll down here, because we already covered most of these items, including the scale ID and the value. We have an end value as well, that's also possible. And uh, what we will do here is the label, where are we? The styling, oh, that's it. Here's the label, very straightforward. Here, here's the content, which could be an image, apparently, or a string. In this case, I'll just grab a string value. So you say your content, and then the content will be, uh, well, this could be 
Fahrenheit or too hot. I have no idea. We're just going to say it too hot. We save that. We don't see anything yet. So why are we not seeing it? Because we didn't enable it yet. So we could enable this as well. It should be enable here first. So we say en enable the text, which would be enable with a D. And then we say here, true. This is a Boolean, comma, save. Then there you are. So now we get this here. And maybe, this is quite interesting, but maybe you don't like this or you want to rotate this. So of course we could rotate it as well. We say rotation. Uh, or let's double check what's the term here. Is it rotation or rotate? Uh, adjust text align with rotation. It's the term here. All right. So re remember, rotation is in degree. So we could put in here the degree, degree so between 180 degrees. So if I save this, I say or angle of 180. Oh, that's not it, of course. It's 90. Sorry. Save that. We just have to change it for a quarter. So that's basically how we can play around with this and of course you would be able to see here if would we uh, if that would be too hot maybe a different color i think there is color options here as well font padding if you want to increase a lot of these things are self-explanatory background color we could just say here background color just put a background color in here comma put that in there let's grab this nice uh, red color i'll just give this solid red here save that Go back here, refresh, there we are. Should we have a border color as well? We should have one as well. Let's do a border color here. Let's save that and see if this works. If not, I guess it should be here above. And the reason why is probably it should be here because this is going to the label and the space here, but not the line, I realize. So we should not have this here. But we should have it here above border color here if I save that let's see if this is correct there we are so that works because if you would hide that one here put it in here save refresh it will probably pinpoint this if I would do this one here on green maybe we might have a border color here or do we need to assign a border color as well border radius border there is no real information about it all right so in that case we can ignore this for now so this is basically how you play around with it. And this is how you can create your text in your annotation uh, with the lines. And this is probably the ones you will be using most of the time. So the next video, we're going to combine it. What if you would have multiple items together just as a final exercise for this?